Alright guys, welcome back to my channel and today I've got news that I've been waiting to um well make a video about for god knows how long. Ever since we sacked Robson, which is well nearly three months I think it could be about th over three months ago now since we sacked Barry Robson. We have finally appointed a new manager. He's not gonna be in charge just now. As you will all know, Jimmy Thelen has been confirmed that he will take charge of Aberdeen in early June. He will be the manager for next season and for the foreseeable future from that point. Up until the end of the season, uh, up for the semi-final and the five games left in the split, um, Peter Levin will take charge. So uh, Jimmy Thelen may, will be in charge for the... Uh, um, uh, apparently it's now back to Premier Sports. Uh, Premier Sports group stage. Um, group stages... Thelen will be in charge for those games and so on and so forth. And if we win the Scottish Cup, he'll be in charge for the European qualifiers, which I don't think is going to happen. But you never know, we could win the Scottish Cup, you never know. But it's probably not going to happen. But so, Jimmy Thelen then, I, I haven't done as much research on him as I wanted to because I was kind of, I got, when I found out about it, I was in the PE change room, I just got back from PE and I checked my phone and I seen a notification from uh, BBC Sport X. Sky Sports and a few others. Uh, it was like messages and all that. But then I seen three. I seen those three, and I thought, okay, something's happened here, and I was right. Aberdeen appointed Jimmy Thelen. Now, when I first seen it, it said breaking news. Or I said breaking Jimmy Thelen. Aberdeen have appointed Jimmy Thelen. It didn't actually say when I first seen it on the notification that he was appointed. He would start in June. I then got out of the page, after I got changed, I got out of the page change room, and then I went on BBC Sport, and it said that he takes charge in June. I thought, oh, because I was going mental in the change room, I'm thinking we finally got a manager, and we're going to have a manager going into the semi-final, but we don't. We are going to have a manager for next season, which is still good. I wasn't overly, I wasn't like, oh, uh, really, I wasn't really upset. Well, not upset, well, wait, you know what I mean. M my mood went down a little bit when I found out that we have to wait another bit longer. But I would have thought, why not get him in now? But then I realised that the Swedish league has just started. I think that they got Elfsborg got beat three 0 last night. And if you've seen, if you follow me on X, please do. Um, I put out a post on because there was an in, after, there was also there was an interview after that game, and they asked Jeremy Thelen, the the people asked him, and he said he just said stuff like, "Oh, it's a rumor, blah blah blah," and he was probably just you know teasing them, you know, and he as of course been confirmed today by Aberdeen but themselves um which is actually which we know it's true is that Aberdeen have confirmed themselves that he will take charge and in June we'll get the full from outside Combat Park or maybe at Pataudry, I don't know if it, it'd be one of them um or he's holding up the scarf so that's the photo that we can wait to see on apparently it's June the 1st that was everything that was saying that June the 1st he will take charge um and what I think he's doing is because our season ends May the 19th, I was really wanting to go to that Ross County game. The split fixtures are out. Um, the only away game I might get, there's two away games. I can't get to the Ross County one. I'm hoping I might get to the Hibs one. Um, what the hell was that? Um, I might, I don't know about getting to the Saints game because um, I, don't, I, might, I might not get that. My dad's working on that. Uh, and I might not, I think I'll definitely get the Livingston game and I'll definitely get the... Motherwell game. I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure about the Saints game, but I'd probably rather be on the golf course than watch Aberdeen at this point. But of course, I will be at the semi final on some Saturday, which will be a massive vlog, and I'm really looking forward to it. I've got a bit of nerves, but I'm not really that nervous because it's kind of Celtic are probably going to win, so we don't really have much to lose. Of course, if we can win the Scottish Cup, it still gets us Europe, but. It's not, we're not, we're the underdogs. Celtic are the favourites to go out and put four or five goals past us. But we've got nothing to lose, really. If we win and get to the final, then we obviously have something to lose. But if we lose the semi-final to the best team in the league, it's expected. Aberdeen haven't had the best of seasons. We've been a lot better domestically. We got to a cup final. Sadly, we'd lost it and we played horrendous in that final. Um, we've done all right in the Scottish Cup. And we didn't do as we should have qualified from our conference league group, but we didn't, so it doesn't matter. Um, so of course the semi final will be a massive chance for us to just 
you know, win. But to beat Celtic, they've just got a really good form. They're sit- currently they're sitting top of the league. I know we're in a cup tie, form goes out the window, but Celtic at, at Hamden, we I cannot, I genuinely cannot. I don't think in my lifetime we've beat Celtic. We have not beat Celtic at Hamden in, in my lifetime. I think, and I, I, we haven't. We I've been to a few games where Aberdeen have played Celtic at Hamden. Scottish Cup final in 2017, that will always be a day that I will... Oh, God, I'm heartbroken after that. That was a game that we really should have won. I think we had a lot of chances to win that game. Celtic got it late. Of course, they played well. We what we scored first. Kenny McLean had that chance that I will always... Like, ugh, it was just... The fact that he could have just stood still control the ball and put put it in the goal. That could have been massive. But he decided to just fall. Which was stupid. Anyway, I need to get back onto Jimmy Thelen. I'm going away yakking stuff. That's what I do. That's pretty much what people like YouTubers like me do. Just chat rubbish. But that's like I said, technically in our job as a YouTuber. Anyway, Jimmy Thelen, from what I've heard, he took Elfsborg from a small team in Sweden to almost winning the league. They missed out on the league title by three goals, which is mental. Like, they only had three goals in it between them and AIK, I think, who were top. I can't remember. But they very narrowly missed out on winning the league. He's he's loved by the Elfsborg fans. Apparently, he's good at uh, selling big players for money. He gave Elfsborg a lot of wealth or whatever you want to say. Turned them into a rich club in Sweden, gave them a lot of money from shifting on their good players for a good fees. But my worry now is that he'll see Miofsky, know how much he's worth, and think, right, you're going because we need the money. We need Someone needs to let him know that if Miofsky wants to stay for one more season and he's willing to give us a go, for what, if he's willing to give it one more and then he'll leave, we have to take it. Of course, if the right offer comes in, if an eight, if if eight million plus offer comes in, say like a 10 million, because I'm, I don't care what anyone says, that's what he's worth. The guy has saved us from a, one of our worst seasons. I dread to think how bad we've been if we didn't have him. Now that's not me saying we're a bad team, we're just having a bad season because we didn't get it right. When things don't go right, it's hard for a team to do well. But that man saved us on so many occasions from it being, if, I think if we didn't have him, if we didn't have Mielski, we'd probably be a lot closer to relegation than we are. We'd definitely be 10th. We'd de- I don't think we'd be five points clear of Ross County. Uh, by the way, what a win for Ross County, by the way. <laughs> Get, uh, have that, Rangers. You bought the league. I can't really say much, but it's kind of funny watching them ball it because this was their chance and they bottled it. Anyway, I don't... I mean, I wouldn't mind... If Duke leaves, I wouldn't be as upset as if Mielski leaves. If Duke left after last season, I'd be... Almost in tears because Duke last season was class. But the positives that I'm seeing is that Roos and Duke, the past two games, the, the Ross County game and the Motherwell game, no, the Dundee game, Duke and Roos were actually showing what they were last season. Roos and that Ross County game, that save he made from Jan, that Jan Dan the volley, he struck that pure, put about 100 miles an hour of power, it was one about 100 miles an hour, it wasn't, but you know what I mean. And Roos t- tips it over the bar. It was... If that was in the corner, that's going in. I know, but it was still... like that. He probably shouldn't have saved that because Jan Danda hit that pure. That was a pre- pure volley that he struck that and Roos managed to get a hand to it and put it over. I didn't see it as well because I was at the, I was at the, I at the Richard Dodd and that was towards the red shed. But when I watched the highlights, that was in some save. Um, and some of the save... He made a couple of good saves against Dundee. I do think there's Roos is getting his confidence back and he's realising that he's had a bad season and he has been very poor this season. But I'm sorry, he's still got... like Duke and Roos are the two players that all Aberdeen fans last season loved. Duke was our best player. Roos was arguably our second best. Those two were vital in getting us third. Um, when we were doing... We, they already were when, at the start of the season when we were cruising in third... And then people just, some people are forgetting that we were cruising. We were points clear hearts. 
and then Goodwin just tried to change up the tactics and everything fell apart. But thankfully, Robson came in and saved it. But of course, Robson is gone now. But Aberdeen have been such a roller coaster because last season it was all joy. We'd shown Hearts where they belong is below us. They don't. I'm sorry, they don't belong above us. And I'm not trying to force a rivalry here. More Hearts fans are actually forcing rivals with all the stuff saying, "Oh, we're 23 points." Clear, nah, 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 nah. I, I'm sorry, but Hearts are having. I've had two. They finished above us twice in ten years. Not much of a trophy, is it? I know we haven't won a lot. I think Hearts and Aberdeen are sort of similar in what trophies they've won. Hearts have actually got a better league record. But I do think we're... And I'm not just saying that because I'm an Aberdeen fan. But and the us winning two European trophies... There's, if there's, there's a good argument between who's the third biggest club in Scotland, Hearts or Aberdeen. Hearts fans will say Hearts. A few Hearts fans will probably say us. We'll say us. That's the way it's going to go. But... The fact that we've won two European trophies puts it over the edge. If we hadn't won the two European trophies, we'd be in the same situation as Hearts in terms of what we've won. I'd probably edge it to them. But the two European trophies gives us the massive edge because that's like we've won more European trophies than some of the best teams in the world right now. PSG, Arsenal, um, who's the top well, Tottenham? I can name a few. I don't remember one that I can't think of Dortmund winning champion. I can't I don't know. But they're some of the best teams in the world right now. We've won I know it's ages ago and this isn't really on topic, but I'm just saying that as long as Jimmy Thelen gets it right and hearts don't have shine on it and we I mean, even if we do lose Miofsky, we have the quality in the squad that if we the tactics are right and it works will still do well and we can find a replacement because if we get enough if we get money from Miofsky then we have a massive chance at getting someone in that's just as good or even maybe better but anyway this video has pretty much been me just waffling but that is what all my videos are and that's basically what they're meant to be so hope you guys do enjoy this video for some reason my Ross County vlog the comments uh, Dundee vlog the comments keep turning off but what that basically... Oh, that's Barcelona just had a red card. I'm looking at notifications for the um, Barcelona PSG game. And Barca have just had a man sent off. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this match. Uh, oh, I'm just so used to saying match table. One more time. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Put what you guys think of Thelen in the comments. Do you think he's going to do a good job? And I'll see you guys for the next video on my channel.